Now, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed of Ghadian claimed to be the Messiah. He caused a lot of furor when he did that. When he died, it was his follower, Maulana Hakim Nuruddin, who took his place as the leader of the Ahmadi Muslim community. And it was this man, Maulana Hakim Nuruddin, the first Khalifa of the Ahmadiyya movement, who actually gave the explanatory notes for the first Quran to be published. And somehow, he's been completely overlooked in the history of the translation of the Holy Quran. The next major flashpoint that we should talk about is 1917, and everyone seems to overlook this date. It was in Woking, my hometown, where the Quran was produced. We must go back to the inception of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed's community in Qadian. He preached into the West, something nobody was doing at that time. As a researcher, someone who is interested in history, I keep looking to see who else was writing to the Queen, writing to the Theosophist in America. I can't see anyone, to be honest. And that's what's really intriguing, because at that time, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed of Qadian's efforts were met really well. However, obviously now there is a very big backlash to it. Maulana Hakim Nuruddin continued these efforts, and we must place this story, the translation of the Holy Quran, into those efforts and into context. He knew about a mosque in Woking. How he knew is beyond me. He never ventured to England. He sent a helper, Khwaja Kamaluddin, in 1912 to investigate that mosque. Soon that mosque was reopened. He then sent Jodhri Fatih the first Ahmadi missionary, to that mosque. 